In Creo Parametric, the vertex round feature has very specific use cases, but they can end up being very convenient. Let's take a look at how to use it. Right now in my part model, I have a sketched arc that's extruded in order to create a surface, so it's very boring. Let's use this as the basis for creating a cover. To access the vertex round command, you'll go to the surfaces overflow menu, and here's vertex round. And on the dashboard, we have a references tab, and you can select one or more vertices. I'll pick this vertex over here. And right now, it's using a very small radius. Let's drag it up, and you can see that it's rounding off the corner of that surface. If I hold down the control key, I can select other vertices to control over here. And let's make this value a lot bigger. Let's make it a value of like 120. Oh, a little too big. Let's bring that down to about 80. So that is good. I've got my different rounded corners in here. And let's hit the check mark to complete the feature. Now for some other interesting stuff, let me extend the edges. I'm going to use the plane display command to turn on my datum planes. Let's select this datum plane and from the mini toolbar, I'm going to create another datum plane and let's drag it down to the bottom. Yeah, about a distance of 25 is good. And I can hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. Now I will select an edge and use the shift key to grab the surface, or excuse me, the boundary loop of edges. And from the mini toolbar here, we have the extend command. And rather than extend it outward from the surface, from the ribbon, we can choose to extend to a reference plane. And I'm gonna select that plane that I just created. And that way I'm getting side surfaces for my container. Let's turn off the datum plane visibility. I don't need my axes either. Let's grab an edge here and then throw on a round and yeah, make it a little bit bigger. Let's make a nice big round here, 12.5. And then hit the check mark. And so now I've got my surface created. Hey, let's now use the selection filter to make sure I'm grabbing the quilt. And from the mini toolbar, I can choose the thicken command. And right now it's thickening to the outside. Let's flip that to the inside and maybe use a value of 2.5 and that way I've created a cover with a nice complex shape that you normally wouldn't be able to do quickly and easily without that vertex round feature. Instead of using the vertex round, I don't know, I'd probably end up using a boundary blend or using ISDX, but that vertex round feature just makes it very convenient for taking a surface and getting rid of the sharp corners and making those transitions. Oh yeah, the conic and n-sided surface command, which does not appear in the ribbon by default, is something that could probably end up doing this as well. Let me hit the check mark to show you. I'm using the common tab to bring up a bunch of different commands in the interface that don't appear there by default. But again, vertex round, nice little command to use in certain situations. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.